Okay, everyone, what's up? It's Black Onyx again. Um, today, well, first of all, um, if you watched the tutorial that I just did before, you know that I have my hair um, in twists, which I'm going to be taking out in a twist out tomorrow. Um, and I also have, like, little rollers in it, so I just kind of wrapped it up because now I'm in the kitchen and I don't want um, any of them falling in the food. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial um, on how to cook corned beef and rice, which is one of our traditional Jamaican meals, and I know that a lot of other cultures also eat it, but um, I do get questions from people saying, oh, wow, you're Jamaican, I wish I knew how to cook the food. So um, once in a while, I'm going to be throwing in these tutorials, and if I get a good response, then I'll keep doing um, these also. So um, the first thing that you're going to need, and this is a really delicious meal, it honestly takes about 15 minutes. Um, to cook and that's like at the most and it has like a 10 minute prep time so it's very easy very simple and it's really good so I cook this all the time um, the first thing that you want to have is you're going to need white rice you're going to need vegetable oil um, this is my version of it this is not how everyone else does it that's just me and my how me and my husband like to do it we also put on um, Heinz vegetarian beans you'll need one can um, you're going to need um, great dogs, which is chicken, franks, you know, and Libby's corned beef, some crushed garlic, crushed red pepper, black pepper. You can use chives or you can use oregano, a knife, a big spoon, a cutting board, a big frying pan, and a regular pot to cook rice in. So, um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and in your frying pan, you want to add some oil to it. Not too much, just enough to cover, um, kind of give a thin lining on the bottom of your pot. Okay? Now you can go ahead and turn on the stove. Um, I'm going to put it around 7 because I'm trying to do this pretty quickly. Um, oh, forgot to mention, you're also going to need um, green onions, and you're going to need white onions. If you don't like onions, you can always leave this out. So, um, Alright, so here they are. You want to make sure, first of all, that your green onions are washed, and your onion also. Okay. So the pot is on and the oil is heating up. So you want to cut your green onion into small little strips. Okay? This isn't the freshest one, but hey, I'm going to come show you. Like that. That's what it's supposed to look like. Whoa, sorry. That's what it's supposed to look like. Like that. Okay? All right, now, I don't scrape that in the pot yet because I don't want to have that just marinate in the oil. Next, you're going to take your onions. You want to chop the top off of it like this. And you can use your hands to do this by just peeling off the outer um, layer of skin or whatever. Okay, basically the part that feels like paper. Alright, now I cut the onion right down the middle like this, and then you turn it to the side and just start to slice it in thin slices. So basically, the slices look like that, okay? Okay, wait. I need to get a camera holder, don't I? This will make it much easier. Okay. Alright, so this is how much I have. 
This is the green onions and this is the white onions. And I also kind of chop them a little bit so they kind of become smaller but not too fine. Alright, so you're going to go ahead now and scrape that into your pot, in your frying pan. Okay? Now, while that is cooking down, you want to go ahead and move on to your rice, getting that going. Um, with my rice, I always use my measuring cup. So, I just take um, the white rice that I'm using. You just use any white rice, so turn it so you can see. Two cups and three cups. And for whoever doesn't know how to cook rice, the ratio of rice to water that you use is for every cup of rice that you put in, you want to do um, two cups of water. So I'm going to go ahead and get my water. If you can't see me. water in there and you also want to have an extra cup of water. Warm water put on the side just in case your um, rice starts to get dry. So this is my extra cup of warm water and I'm just going to put it over here in the corner. Okay now also with your rice you want to um, you have to multitask. So you have to also make sure you're stirring your onions and stuff because you don't want them to burn. Um, you also, with your rice, you don't want it to be too plain, so you want to add some salt to, to it. I just use iodized salt. You just sprinkle some in there. With my spoon. Stir it up. Taste it on the back of your hand. Make sure you can taste the salt, but it's not too salty. I'm going to put my rice on six, and I also like to put it on just a tad bit of parsley or oregano in my rice, and also you want to put like a small spoonful of butter, okay? Now you're going to go ahead and cover that. And so, that's one big step down. Your rice is out of the way. Let's move this bag out of the way. Alright, so, going back to now stirring my onions and my green onions. Let me bring you closer so you can see. Okay. Alright, so, they pretty much look like they're cooking down. How you know that your onions are cooking through properly is that they'll get kind of go from being white um, and hard and hard and white. They'll go to being more soft and kind of clearish. So as you're stirring that, you're going to move on to the great dog chicken franks. Um, we're using chicken because we don't eat pork, but you can use regular hot dogs if you would like. Um, all you have to do is I just cut straight down in the bag like, whoa, sorry. I just cut straight down in the bag like this. So I just split it in half. I put half in a Ziploc bag and put it back in my fridge. And the, this is only half that you're going to be using for cooking this meal. So, you go ahead. I'm going to bring the camera close so you can... I need an assistance, okay? So, I'm going to try to do this with one hand. This is how I cut them. I cut it this, whoa, this is not going to work. Mm. 